Hello everybody and welcome back to part 3 of the Protoss tutorial. You guys need it, I'm here to provide, uh, I hope you guys need it uh, and want it and need it, but here we are today. Thank you to Alienware, they obviously supported me, that's why uh, we have the little cool flashy intro. They supported me, they sponsored me, they gave me my audio equipment and also thank you to Western Digital too for providing the, uh, the hard drive for me to record all this stuff on too. Um, we are here back with part 3 as we load in, and just thinking back to part 2, we finished in Silver League, woo, we got promoted into Silver League at the end of part 2, we're playing against high gold league players now, pushing up into platinum and diamond, and w everything's going really well so far, we've got a 100% win record, and we're just climbing and climbing and climbing as fast as can be, we've only been playing for what, an hour and a half now, um, for all the game time and we're already playing against high gold leagues so let's continue that trend and see how far we can go in part three today the only difference in this video compared to the other ones is that maybe we can just make it a little bit more advanced in terms of the strategies we use the 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 in-depth conversations that i'm gonna have by myself uh, <laughs> um, and so on so let's think about first of all pvp protoss versus protoss the part one and part two, we did a lot of three stalker rushes into whatever we want to do. And the, the the pivot point, I called it, at 26 supply, where you get the gas, the pylon, and then you can swing either way. Um, you can go Robo, you can go Stargate, you can go Twilight Council, and so on and so on. I think in this game, uh, and especially for the players we're playing against, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, and so on, is we should play a very solid robotics facility style. Three gate Robo Expand. Because the, the, the strong counter that at the higher level is very good blink and observer play. Uh, making sure you're harassing, picking off units, making sure that uh, the, the robotics facility player balances and splits his army perfectly. Otherwise you go in and you pick off. But I don't think players at this level are going to be able to do that. So I think that a very solid 3 gate robo is going to work out well. Then we expand, we get colossus, we get upgrades and so on and so on and so on. And then we look for two or three base timings. And I think that's going to be a good style uh, for us to take in. Uh, Protoss versus Zerg. I think we're pretty much going to keep it relatively the same as the first two parts. Um, forge fast to expand on Taldor and Malta, um, for example. And then kind of three gateway expansions. Maybe one gate expan uh, expansion as well. Um, just kind of thinking of the maps. Pretty much three to one gate expansions for the majority of them, depending on what he does. If he goes hatchery first, I don't want to see aggression from you guys. I just want you to be like, all right, let's play macro. That's why we're here, because we're learning the fundamentals. That's how we want to play the game. So just go ahead and go one gateway expansion, take your second and third gateway, and then continue like normal. Get the forge, get hallucination, and so on and so on and so on. And we'll scout very heavily, like we did last uh, in the last couple of parts. Make sure we know what composition he's going for, you know, how fast is he expanding, how fast is he teching, and so on. And the overall style, we'll get Twilight Council, Blink, uh, maybe a few Immortals in there, and eventually Colossus, maybe even some Templar Archive uh, and High Templar been thrown into the mix. Against Terran, I suppose that we should keep it relatively similar as well. Um, one gateway to three gateway expansions again, uh, looking for a relatively fast robotics facility so we know exactly what's going on, what army composition is being revealed. And then we're going to concentrate more on today because I think drops are going to become a lot more viable from our opponents. So that's something we need to scout out. Pylon placements within our base, maybe an observer on patrol move outside of our main base as we look to expand to a third base because that's the point where we're the most vulnerable to drops when we take a third base because we're the most spread out it's very hard to deal with attacks running from the ground um, you know drops coming in from the back so we're going to try and look at that a lot today and the overall gameplay I think we should just play double forge uh, again maybe we can throw in some uh, fast colossus but mostly double forge fast zealot charge um, good blink or maybe fast blink as well I suppose straight after zealot charge uh, Templar Archives, I think we're going to incorporate a little bit faster this game because last time we were just working on heavy gateway and fundamentals, but this time it's going to get a little bit more difficult, I suppose. Um, so we can add in Templar Archives as soon as we expand to the third base. We can get Archons in faster, and then we'll look for Storm and Double Colossus switches and so on and so on and so on. Okie dokie. So let's continue then and play. So we should be able to play four to five games here. 
um, with explanations throughout, just like part one and two, of course. And we want to maintain uh, that 100% win win record as much as possible. And if we don't, then that's a sad day. All right, PvP on Taldor and Malta. It's pretty much a um, four gate map. Um, so I guess we can. I'm, tr I'm trying to think. Should we try and defend, or should we just do a four gate? Uh, I think that we should just four gate because I don't want to teach something gimmicky when it gets more complicated and it comes down to very thin uh, points in the game. So I think we should just four gate here or defensive four gate more more of uh, more of the point. Um, so let's just go for a defensive four gate here and defend whatever comes and then we'll just look to expand and so on. We have to try and keep us, uh, our scouting probe alive and go in about five minutes or so once we expect his zealot and stalker to have left his base because then we need to know is he four gating us um, because if he's not and we're defensive four gate and we're sitting we're gonna sit there like a lemon right expecting this four gate to come it's not coming and, and we lose tech we lose the expansion timing and so on and so on so we are gonna hit a 12 gateway here and then we'll just try and scout and find out what's going on for the rest of the game so only one chrono boost then 12 gateway then of course the second chrono boost can come down so we go gateway and then we go build the probe and then we chrono boost that probe so he's not top left we can come down to the bottom left uh we can build one more probe and then we'll get the gas down on 14 supply hot key that gateway up okay so let's grab this probe you are the chosen one build the gas and we will only use two chrono boosts. We want to just play it, uh, act well. We're not even, not even hide it. Just act like you're gonna four gate. Place the pylon at the back. Get ready to four gate because we are gonna four gate. And maybe he will overreact and act too defensively, and then we can just expand. But we have to probably look uh, to play like this. I think on this map. So let's get into the gas. No, oh, don't want that. Okay, so we found him. So I noticed that he's got a lot of chrono boost. And I think what we're going to run into here is, uh, let's get that, I think he's proxy does in the middle of the map. So right now you just spend all your chrono boost into the gateway. So let's do that. And we obviously want stalkers out soon. And I think that's the case. So let's just go check the center of the map. Uh, with this, you just have to chrono boost units out uh, instead of the warp gate research. But you still want to get it on a decent time. So chrono boost out another zealot. And where is, where is his gateways and so on? Okay, I don't know. But what we're going to do is end up full gating him or something along those lines. Uh, we can even get a second gateway down as well to get the units pumping out. So, warp gate research can be researched. And we obviously need to get... Where are you going? Uh, get a stalker out next. Because I think he's going to come in the base with like three zealots really, really fast. So, And we also need a pylon. So, let's build a pylon. I don't think he's going to expand, right? Let's just go in and check his gas as well, so. We'll just sit here for now and then get a stalker out next. We've got a decent amount of probes. Just get one more. Okay, so four zealots really fast. Okay, so basically this has to just come down to not losing that many probes and picking off all this stuff. And that's okay. We can just replace that really fast. Chrono boost this out. Oh, need to target fire onto that. Okay, so basically, we had this kind of scenario earlier in the, the first part as well. So we just run around. Ooh, don't take too many hits here, dear Apollo. So now we've got Stalkers. We can just control and out-control him. Yeah, so everything's going to be fine. Just be patient, be calm. And even if all that, we've powered the gateways really well here, and we've got another Stalker. And just move these units back. Whoa. And obviously range beats non range. And if he comes into the mineral line, you can take a few hits. And just maybe come back. And now we've got four stalkers. That's pretty much it, I think. So now what you do is you build a pile on here and we just four gate him because obviously he's very behind in tech uh, and so on and so on. So excuse me if I didn't speak throughout that. Obviously I didn't want to lose our 100% win record and even if he's got more uh, more stuff coming just chrono boosted out and with stalkers 
you're going to be absolutely great to fight this. You pick Zealots off really fast. So and we've got two more coming as well. You can add additional gateways, but don't focus on adding any additional gateways on yet because you just want to get rid of this stuff. It's more important to get rid of this stuff. Okay. So pull your probes down to this mineral line or even into the gas hole, even pull them completely away and just attack move with everything. Maybe even just now add on these additional gateways and that's going to be that, I think. So go into the gas again. Maybe just chrono boost out a couple of gateways and he says good. And GG. Alright, so hopefully I had to just stop breathing and talking for a few seconds while doing that because it is a little bit difficult to play and talk. But let's just really, really fast look at that. Oh, well, you don't even need to look at the replay, but wow, 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 we love play a platinum player, first of all. Um, so let's just go over that one more time because maybe it was a little bit fast for you guys. Um, so let's open this up really, really fast and then go into the next game. So basically all you need to do against uh, a proxy like this is... So he, yeah, builds the proxy... Okay, really close here. So all you need to do is Chrono Boost into the gateways instead of the robotics facility. I mean, instead of what the robotics, instead of the cybernetics core. So you Chrono Boost here. And we could read it because of the amount of Chrono Boost he, he had saved up, the, the, the uh, small amount of probes he has. He's only at 10. This is very much so all in. Uh, he doesn't have any gas either. So Chrono Boost into, into the gateway, get you double zealots, and then add on a second gateway and just play from two gateways. And then just Chrono Boost, Chrono Boost, Chrono Boost, Chrono Boost here. And even though he comes with four and we've only got two zealots and one stalker, you just have to keep fighting, build pylons, be under pressure, it's fine. And just then go into only stalkers. And just a quick micro tip before we go into the next game is, for example, if he's attacking the stalker, you can tank until the blue shield goes down, then pull back and then pull back and pull back and so on and so on and so on. And then you just get a decent amount of stalkers out. And remember, as long as you defend, you're going to win. So it doesn't matter about um, not getting the double gateway down to four gate him right now. As long as you defend this, he's got two gateways in the middle of the map. He's got no probes. So just defend uh, and then you're obviously going to win as we did. We didn't even need to four gate him to win from here. And we still got 16 probes. We have lost a few, five, but we've got 16. We've got chrono boost. We can build probes. We've got six stalkers out at the end of the game. Very easy to hold that. All right, and that was a Platinum player. So that's really awesome that we're playing Platinum players already in part three. So let's continue with this and see how far we can go and continue up. All right, I'm just going to take a sip of my awesome Swedish water, not English now. And let's continue to play again. So, quite an intense first match for you guys. But we managed to win and maintain our 100% win record, which is the most important thing within these videos. And I'd be sad if we lost the game. But maybe, maybe, it may happen. Maybe we will get cheesed and we lose and you guys will laugh. Maybe. Alright, so the next game is going. And it is a random DJ Funky Fresh. What a bad name. All right, so Protoss on Shakuris Plateau. And we're going to scout after Pylon again. And even though we didn't scout after Pylon in that last game, we were still able to scout in time and react to that. And maybe you'll say, well, what happens if you didn't scout until the very last position? Um, yeah, maybe it gets difficult then. Uh, and that's maybe why we should scout after Pylon on big maps. But... I don't think you're going to experience that kind of play that often. And if you do in the lower leagues, then scout after pylon, and that's going to cure uh, that not finding our opponent in time. All right, so two times out of three, our opponent is going to be Terran uh, or Protoss compared to Zerg. So we build our pylon here. If he does six gators, obviously then we have to chrono boost the zealot out. And we're going to get a 12 gateway anyway, uh, but we should be fine. If he is Zerg anyway, we build the second pylon about here. And then we can uh, use the ramp to wall off with a cyber core and a gateway or something. So let's kind of wish that one time. Let's go find out what our opponent is actually playing. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. All right, so 12 supply, only one Chronobus used. Gateway can come down here. And then back to mining, shift click back. And hold on a sec. Oh, hold on, is Fraps recording? Okay, welcome back everybody. <laughs> Unfortunately, Fraps did die just then. I did notice really fast, so you didn't really miss anything. There's just going to be a bit of a kind of a hole, I guess, in the 
um, in the video, but I kind of realized really fast, so that's good. Uh, anyway, um, everything's going again, so let's just continue with this. We can use that second Chrono Boost now. I was a little bit scared. I'm like, oh my god, Protoss Tutorial number three is just going to be a complete screw-up because the Apollo didn't record it all. And anyway, so this our opponent is Protoss, as we can clearly see here. So, And he has not got a uh, gas. What? And that's a gateway. All right, well, maybe our opponent isn't quite educated on how to play Protoss. Because you kind of need guess by now. Um, and very similar to, um, unless he's like done something funky down on our natural. Okay, now he's taking gas. Ugh, it's a little bit weird. What's going on? Cybercore, okay, so just really, really late. Against this play, um, you can literally full gate somebody. Again, like we, we did in the other part actually because when somebody plays really bad and they don't look like they know how to look what they're doing he doesn't have any gas so he's not going to have any sentries to actually hold the foregate so what we're going to do we're going to foregate him unfortunately so that's what we're going to do in this game we're just going to go for a simple foregate because you should be foregating somebody that doesn't look like they're playing properly definitely um so let's go ahead and just foregate this guy let's hide the the um, what's it called the the probe bring it to the middle of the map or something and just chrono boost only into the cyber core and throw down these additional gateways so one two and third coming shortly come here <laughs> and there we go and then we'll just hold in the middle map until the stalker comes chrono boost the cyber core and we'll probably just build the pylon you want to be building the pylon somewhere in the open the first pylon because you can walk in four stalkers here uh, and then this, the other pylons can be on this ramp or whatever. So, yeah, but uh, against somebody that takes his gas very late, the cyber core is very late, um, you don't need to try to play straight up, right? You don't need to... It's basically if somebody takes, like, four expansions straight off the bat and you're playing, it's like, all right, well, yeah, the, you know, we're not going to really allow that to happen, so... Uh, that's, you know, not what we're going to allow to happen either. So just keep the probe at the back, warp in four stalkers, and then we'll just walk up. He's not going to have, he maybe have one sentry, but he's not going to have more than that to hold this push, unfortunately. Um, so we should be able to pick him off kind of easy. Um, so let's just turn these to warp gates, and we can go into the third game, I think. If This should work out, because we saw his gas was very late, and so on, so on, so on. So warp in your four stalkers, walk up to the ramp, grab your probe, and just be like, double pylon because he may get one and he won't get two. So, and then you can just warp in four zealots now. So we go up and we see that he's got a lot of stuff and that's actually not a bad force field. Um, but we pick these off, we can walk in now, but even then we can just warp in four zealots and even if he kills the two stalkers here, three stalkers, two stalkers that was, maybe three actually, we're still gonna be able to just warp in on the ramp and that's when it gets difficult for him. So we can chase these down and just chrono boost into this and then warp in stalkers from here on out. And warp in stalkers down on the lower ground. Put one um, zealot into the mineral line because he's not going to be able to uh, mine efficiently because he's going to lose probes. So, And then he eventually won't have any money. So yeah. And then we just come in, we pick off the stalkers because stalkers are fast and then we lose use those zealots to fight and maybe just go in pick off a couple of probes and just really hurt his economy because that's what he needs to do right now uh, that's what we need to do sorry warping more zealots and he's trying to get an immortal out, i think but it doesn't matter because he's lost that much stuff we've got zealots now we got stalkers, we get another zealot, and eventually the full gate will win over anything, as long as you kill probes and stuff. And he's trying to wait for his uh, immortal to come out, but... Yeah. Like, his immortal is going to come out now and just get immediately surrounded by everything, see? And that's going to be GG. But yeah, when somebody plays funky like this, you never let them get away with it. Ever, 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 ever. And unfortunately, yeah, he's going to be recording a full gate... Yeah, he gets angry, but that's what happens when somebody doesn't play correctly. You have to punish them. So let's go ahead and just play, and he's high gold now. So let's play number game number three now. 
Alright, so we hopefully should be getting in four to five games. This is game number three going into now. So this game and then hopefully two more before we finish up this part number three for you guys. And hopefully everything's been explaining well. I'm sorry for that little glitch on that second game, but Fraps decided to die on us. So um, there's nothing I can do there, unfortunately. But let's continue. Ah, water. Alright, so a Zerg. So, Zelnaga Caverns against the Zerg player. I haven't played Zelnaga Caverns in a long time, actually. I think I must have uh, downvoted it or something on my regular account. Alright, so what we're going to be doing here is uh, probably three gateway expand. Because it's a small map anyway, um, aggression is very viable here. And it's a very defensive map for Protoss because we should be defensive. Once we take the gold base, um, it's pretty much lights out because once that's cannoned up, we start to filter our forces down the left and right lane uh, by the Zanaga Towers. There's not that much a Zerg player can do in terms of engagements. It gets rather difficult and especially because it's very difficult for our opponent to actually uh, expand rapidly as well. Um, let's build the pylon behind the wall this time. We did it in the wall last time. We can build it uh, behind this time around. There's not too much difference, but, uh, to be honest. It's kind of preference. Um, yeah, it's it's not much difference at all, in or out the wall. So I just do a bit of both. So let's go scout straight after pylon against Zerg, because we can stop that fast hatchery if he does want to try to do that. Uh, depending on what we see, we can go 13 gateway probably. Uh, if there is early aggression, let's just go 12 and... Uh, there's drone coming out nice and early as well. Uh, let's just, I'm going to think 13 should be fine. Yeah, there's a second overlord. So we know there's no aggression because he's built the second overlord. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get that gateway down now. And then let's just keep the probe down on the natural, of course, because that's what he's going to be wanting to do. And then we just waypoint a big, or not even waypoint, just move around a big circle. And then we get gas in a few seconds because we don't want him to do anything here do we want to expand so and we're not going to build a pile I don't think there's any need to yeah I need hatches now so I guess he's got a spawn and pull down so because he's hatched we're just going to go into one uh, oh wow he's got not a lot of lava did he actually just wait forever Oh, okay, we got surrounded. Never mind. So what we're going to be doing here is just like a one gateway expansion because he's gone for a very passive play, right? Uh, to check if the zealot warps in, look, just do that and just put it one uh, hex across uh, and then you can get your zealot. Or uh, Because he's also gone for hatch first, we can get gas and then uh, the zealot. So we can get kind of a heavy sentry count. So let's go ahead and build the zealot now. And even though we killed our probe, it doesn't matter too much. And da -da 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 -da. just keep building stuff. At this point, you don't need to focus on too much. We are going to go one gateway expansion, though, so we can do that kind of soon. We can build a pylon down here, the third pylon, I guess, and just be like one zealot down or just wall off. So we probably need to be building that pylon now, so let's go build it now. Yeah, we can expand very, very shortly here. Dun, 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 dun. So, kind of simple game so far. And by the time this probe comes down, we'll be able to expand again. As you see, our monies, monies and monies and monies are climbing up nice and high. And we'll put the second and third gateway like here to make a wall off um, for our nexus on the natural. So about 30 supply, looks like the next is going to go down, we'll kill the overlords, and then we can just play that normal. We'll add the gateways down in a few seconds, when he comes back we'll add the gateways down. Um, Zealot can probably just come in in case he does run a million lings down, and we're not going to get this, this is, uh, overlord, so we might as well just come back. And get another sentry, and then let's add on those gateways. And we can just cut probes to make sure we do add them on now, because it is getting rather late, but we do have a, a good amount of stuff anyway. So one gateway two gateway and then pile on to just uh, make sure everything is all smoothed out without supply and maybe you can send a probe out now to go see what he's doing in case he is cheesing uh, or something after that hatchery's gone down first 
Uh, but we do have three centuries. We're in a pretty good shape at the moment. Get hallucination next. Oh, not, not the air upgrade. Hallucination next. Chrono boost it one time. And everything should be good. So a wall off. There's just like a little hole there. And you can force field that. So let's just run into his base and see what we can see. And get ready for transfer. A few lines of probe. Or a line of probe. He's got a spine crawl I saw. So kind of defensive I guess. And a roach warren. No layer. So I guess maybe roaches are coming next. But either way we can add on that forge. And so on. And we can get hallucination out soon. So we can scout what's going on. And I probably want to spend my uh, chrono boost into my nexus now. To get the probes count going up. And we're pretty good right now. And we'll build a cannon just behind these gateways. And hallucination's almost done, so we'll scout with that soon. Uh, we can add on the robotics facility as well. And we can continue to scout. And everything's all dandy, dandy, dandy. Alright, so let's press uh, CX on the keyboard and go scout. And just now, chrono boost into the nexus. Get plus one attack now. And everything's good. So let's find out what he is doing behind closed doors. So, no units, evolution chamber, a lot of lava. Let's check, no base here, no base there probably, so. Oh, good really, let's throw down the Twilight Council about 50% of these upgrades and let's just get a cannon anyway, just to be safe. A uh, couple of pylons, of course. And da da da, we're gonna chrono boost into the forge and we can scout with the robotics facility. And everything's good. Just check for the expansions is the most important. We can go ahead and build another oop, not hallucinated phoenix and send that out. Just check over there. Observer time to chrono boost that guy out. Go into the gas. Saturation in the mains probably, yep, fully saturated so we can get the gases now. And just be quite happy down here. And maybe just add on a couple more gateways as well. Or maybe not there, just... Uh, okay, here's okay. Oh, hallucinated phoenix go. Twilight council can go down. Maybe even a mortal. Got a lot of probes queued up for some reason. Getting a mortal out. And then just some more units. And he's got roach. A couple of queens. Looks like he's trying to take a third base soon. Uh, that's fine. And this game we are going to look at going to Colossus. Because it is a map for Colossus for sure here. So let's add that Colossus down. We can get another hallucinated phoenix out to keep track of what he's teching up to and so on. Pro uh, pylons can be added on. You can wall off the back here with two pylons. Let's check out what's going on. We can keep the observer there. Probably want another observer as well. And plus two attack can now start as well. Let's just check. So he's now at layer. What's he got? Probably roaches. So maybe just another immortal after that observer. Yeah, look at that. Just roaches. And we don't even have to move out because he's not taking a third base. So get blink as well. Just poke and check if he has taken that third base. Now I guess he should have, right? So let's get some stalkers too. And we can go take a, th uh, a uh, base of our own very, very shortly. We'll take a third base because we're baller. And because we're taking a third base at the same time as he is, we don't really have to focus on being aggressive. Uh, we can start war off a little bit down there as well. Start killing some rocks. Warp in some zealots. There's that observer. So let's get an observer up there as well. If we get our first colossus out when these pylons finish. Uh, thermal Lance can begin as well. Chronicles Blink and so on. And we can even just move across the map a little bit. And just start to deny a bit of creep. Because we have force fields, right? You know, force fields are really good. <laughs> and, yeah, tries to come in here. You can just warp in, like, two Stalkers. Or maybe a Zealot on the other side. Just kill some Creep Tumors. Take a fifth base now. Or well, third base, sorry. Yeah, great. And now we just come back, done a bit of pressure for some units probably, and we just come back. Uh, get some more pylons, chrono boost the upgrades, and we got this base now. We're just going to sit on the Zelnaga tower, it's a very nice place to sit. And we've got the Colossus coming, we've got a second Immortal maybe somewhere, I'm not sure about that. Plus two's finished, we see he hasn't saturated that base, we don't need to really worry what he's doing, let's just check his tech. We can add on additional gateways in a few seconds as well because we've just expanded to the gold base. So we want to add on lots of gateways. Remember, we taught you that in, a, in the other part. So let's add on gateways. 
and we see that he's gone to uh, spire and infestation pit with little gas so i'm not too worried about anything at the moment um because he doesn't have that much money uh, that much gas uh, let's cannon up this base now uh, maybe another pylon over here and just sit pretty sit pretty uh, we can transfer like a heavy amount over now and get take double gas immediately and just bring our army down now and get the Colossus pumping. And because we've worked so hard into our economy, uh, we can now really work hard into our um, units. So maybe just leave a Zell on that right Zellnaga Tower. We'll put in some, some guys. That's what they're called, guys. Just cannon up this base. And when we've got this base all fortified up with cannons, this, we're, on, we're steamrolling, guys. He hasn't even taken the gold yet. He's only just got gas here. And yeah, he sees he's in trouble. Chrono Boost, he's out. Get these gateways up as well. Nothing over here as well. And you just play a very defensive yet moving kind of style, if you understand that. Just very defensive yet active style, I guess is the correct word there. And just warp in some stuff. Now we can start a pressure this third base because we're almost at plus three. Uh, remember, he has got... Um, a spy, so he could go into uh, you know a heavy meter switch. Let's just throw down the Templar archives anyway. But let's just concentrate on this base, get the upgrade, kind of the upgrade again. So almost a plus three. Snipe the hatch, come back, and the queen probably, and then just come back because you don't want to lose the counter attacks. Continue to open stalkers with plus three and blink. Obviously, going to be very very good in this game. Uh, in terms of taking a fourth base, we can soon. Um, and yeah, he's trying to move around. We'll t leave a zealot on here again and just swing around to the other sides Make some zealots Chrono boost uh, the armor I guess uh, Yeah, and maybe we should just clear. Oh look at this. It's not gonna work is it? Uh, let's go ahead and take our fourth base now We might as well just show you guys how to take it you move with your army uh, You clear it from any ling stalkers, whatever or bane links and then you very simply... Oh, he's borrowed them. Okay, well, we got an observer, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and you very simply just clear it and then go build it. And then go attack. You can get Storm now as well if you want. Uh, and so on and so on. All right, we are very zealot heavy, which is why we have a lot of uh, gas and not minerals. Which is what some of you guys mentioned in the other tutorial. But I do like a lot of zealots because they tank really well. And we can even get zealot charge, I guess. There you go. And yeah. And we just got in shit up and you can pretty much attack. We're just miles and miles ahead. Get into a good position. Force field across. And yeah, we're just going to win that fight all day long. You can just continue to warp in. Because we've got a lot of money, you can just build more gateways anywhere. It's like additional gateways. And overall, our macro is just going to kick in. And because our main base is almost mined out, we can transfer down to this space. You just cannon it up now. Like multiple cannons. And overall... You just outplay him by not even attacking with a timing attack. You just spot his third base, kill it, uh, and so on and so on and so on. And that is a nice simple walkthrough of how to beat a decent Zerg player. And yeah, they win promotion to the Gold League. Yes. And we beat a Platinum player. So let's go ahead and play another game straight away. And we are rank one immediately in gold. Yeah. Hopefully we get some Terran players. There's not that many Terran players, is there, in the lower leagues? There's really not. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, kicking bum. All right, so let's hope for a Terran player. This may be our last game. It depends. We may get another one if it's fast on a Zerg player again. Where are the Terran players in your leagues, guys? Where are your Terran players? Alright, so let's go ahead and play. This seems like there is a lot of Zergs, though, that's for sure. Alright, so let's go ahead and think of our plan. Our plan is, once again, going to be one to three gateway expansion, depending on what he does. We are going to wall in, we're going to scout after the pylon to see if he is trying to get a hatch first, or if he's gone for any kind of cheese play, and that is like six pull, seven pull, or whatever. So, let's drone up to uh, and probe up to nine, and then let's pull one down about 60 70 is fine and build the pylon and they go scout uh -huh. 
so yeah, I like. I uh, I hope you guys like you know ex always add on production before you expand to a base because then it when when the money kicks in, you spend it on units rather than production facilities and the the loss and the hit you take from not building units while you're adding those production facilities before you expand is so very much so. Oh, what's this? Is he okay? Never mind. So it's very much overweighed by the fact that. Um, when that when those units don't do come out it's much more beneficial to have all that money been thrown into units and you build a lot more stuff as well so let's go ahead and just obviously block his expo for a little while he hasn't gone for a super early pool so that's fine uh we'll get gas in a few seconds just patrol move which is p on the keyboard for, to do that take gas oh oh all right, I guess we're gonna one gate expand again. So let's think about that pylon we need. And the probe, uh, hatch first was that? Yeah. All right, let's play aggressive. Let's do something else. Oh, we have used a chronobus though. Okay, let me show you a style, guys. I gotta do something aggressive this time around. So we're gonna build the cyber core like normal and you can just check it like that. And we're just going to build a zealot straight away. And guess what we're going to do with that zealot? We're going to chrono boost it. Uh, we're going to build a probe. And then we're going to chrono boost the second zealot. And then a stalker. And then a probe. Because we're just going to do a little bit of pressure while expanding with one gateway. But we have to be careful about this. Because if we get speed, we could lose to a direct counterattack. So obviously we have to get ready to wall off well. So other chrono boost can be spent. Um, well, why is that? Why is he going backwards? Let's go like this. So I just changed the waypoint. You can change it and then shift click the waypoint. Uh, let's chrono boost in and get a pylon and stalker. You still get your warp gate research. And then we're just going to build a pylon on the lower ground to start war thinking about that expansion. You can even go three gateway if you manage to do a lot of damage and then expand anyway. And we'll do it on one gas for now. So let's have a look what we get down here. Nothing there. So he's probably building links. So just wait for the second zealot. And wait for the stalkers to come join the fray. And you can chrono boost the stalkers, of course. So, chrono boost the stalkers. We can probably just add on additional gateways. Okay, so against fallings, you can obviously take that. And we'll bring the probe in as well and the stalker. So, everything together. Um, let's go ahead and add these additional gateways down here. Okay, so he's got a lot of links. But we're forcing a lot of stuff out from him. We'll get extra gateways. And then all I'm doing is just building probes in the background, macroing, and so on. You can add or get the Nexus soon. And because he's probably going to have gas soon, we want to come back. I mean, he's he's got gas. He's probably going to have speed, I mean. So we just want to come back um, and build our Nexus. Because we force a spine crawler, a lot of lings, and so on and so on and so on and so on. So now we just want to play safe. And get the, the extra gas. Chronobus into the cyber core. Just get that extra gas. And then just sit tight behind this kind of area. And then in a few seconds, we can warp in like three centuries. And we're going to be good. Because I expect a lot of lings to have been built, right? So just changing it up, like we said at the start of the video. Just maybe making it a little bit more uh, advanced. But, all right, let's warp in three centuries now because we can force field here and we're going to be all good. Oh, there we go. So let's build another pylon and we're going to sit here all day long. Build a forge as well and we're all good. What we do want to do is probably get hallucination though as well, uh, which is H on the keyboard. Or we just need some gas. And their speed's done, so. Yeah. And we just sit tight here. And we can transfer some probes. And we'll just chrono boost that hallucination, I guess. Oh, it's been chrono boosted once. And then we'll get the Twilight Cancel and just play like normal. Probably get a second gas straight away because we were delayed a little bit. Um, let's get plus one first. And then we'll get the uh, robotics facility. Oh, what happened here? So, some zealots, and probably a cannon, always wear a, a, a cannon. 
Gotta recycle that. Alright, and then let's go just use Hallucination in a few seconds. Uh, robotics facility can go down now as well. Um, of course, because we want to scout what's going on and probably just a pile on next to it because we're 51 out of 60. So let's build a pile on. And then we can chrono boost into this forge, get into that gas, and then use uh, CX on the keyboard and let's find out what's going on. Uh, meanwhile, let's have a look at everything. We're doing okay. Everything's absolutely great. We can even kill the back rocks now. Uh, what you could do is send a probe just to check if he's killing the rocks and then come back because a lot of players do like to do that. We have lots of spine crawlers, so is he teching up to meters really fast? Let's find out. Layer, spire. Yeah, really fast meters. So what we're going to do now is throw down additional gateways, and then we're also going to be throwing down uh, the Templar Archives really fast here. And we obviously want, well, before that, we obviously need Twilight Council to get Blink out. But yeah, it's all good. No problem whatsoever if we're playing against this style. We're going to go expand as well. And we just have to get that blink out. Absolutely no problem. So expand. What we're going to do is just build a pile on here. So we can build a cannon in the mineral line. And likewise here. And we can just, uh, in a few seconds, just save our monies up. We're well saturated in there. Well saturated on that. So I'm just going to stop unit production for a few seconds. Um, because I want to be able to get blink straight away. I want to get plus two straight away. So, blink straight away, plus two straight away, chrono boost that, and maybe just build another pile on here to narrow that down a little bit. And keep the sentries there, because I think he's going to obviously run into our base very soon with meters, so let's just start warping in some stalkers. Chrono boost into blink, chrono boost into that, and we can throw down the Templar Archives now too. And we see he's not killing the back rocks, which is obviously fantastic. And now let's just add these cannons in. One here. One here. And there the mute is coming. Okay, great. So five stalkers should be okay with plus two in the main. And we'll get some stalkers down onto the natural now as well. And this base should almost be done. So we can transfer quite a few. And we'll likewise, uh, we'll build a pylon and cannon in the mineral line soon. So, so a bit of a heavy transfer actually, a little bit too heavy uh, transfer. Let's see if we can find out if he's taking the third base, but we're just going to sit tight right now. And there he is, and we don't quite have blink, but that's fine. I'm probably warping some stalkers, because he's probably going to try to come in at a different angle, like onto your natural, or maybe even the third base, but we're going to cannon up here as well. And pylons can be thrown down. Oh, probably take this gas too. Blink is done. We'll get storm. Um, so let's get storm, which is T on the keyboard, by the way, if nobody knows it like me. Uh, and let's add on some additional gateways over here. So one, uh, two, and three. And we'll get another pylon. And then we'll just build cannon, two cannons like to protect this area. One and two. And you just play super, super safe. Because that's all you need to do right now. Let's just build up a nice army. Don't take any losses from muters. And we can just go attack and win when we get to a nice supply. So he's taking the gold base on gas. Okay, fine. Just check if he's taking a fourth base. Because that's the most important. Because we're on... Um, we are on three base, right? So he needs to be on four bases. So that's all we need to worry about right now. Other than that, just drone up. Probe up. Sorry. And let's stop whooping in high Templar. We've got additional gateways been made, get into the gas over here, and probably just some more gateways as well. And we're just going to push out with a very strong 3-0 attack, probably, with Archon, Storm, you know, everything. Uh, check his army comp, upgrades, 1-0 carapace. Is he trying to tech up to Hive or something like that because he's not attacking us? Let's go find out. Pylons. Oh. And probably bring over these guys too. And we'll open some more stuff very shortly. And it doesn't matter if you lose a few stalkers here and there. And he's not at Hive or anything. That's fine. Just let the High Templar build up. we got three. Probably some more. Add on these additional gateways. Which should have been warp gates. Uh, we'll just keep these there. And we'll open some more stuff over here. So these are ready to storm.
Oh, so beautiful. Probably even some more. Get oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And we're just gonna go counter attack after this, guys, because that's a lot of damage just dealt, been dealt. And even though I didn't have my sentries there, yeah, look at that. Oh, it's so horrible for him. So let's just make Archons now because he's probably going to have uh, links, isn't he? And we're at 3 0 almost. And yeah, this is not so good for him. We'll like, take a fourth base as we do so. Yeah, it, that was not so good for him, was it? Oh. Though I should have had my sen uh, some sentries there, but it's okay. And I'm surprised that he hasn't even tried to, you know, attack us. we got a lot of money, so just build more gateways and then we'll take this third base. And it's all about the gas, really. That's why... Oh, crap. Sorry. Yeah, look at that. You can blink back. Just warp in some more stuff. Engagements are not the best, but that's okay. I got my... Uh, the thing is, what happened there is I had my high tempo. I just had them all in one hotkey, which is the mistake. So I couldn't uh, garden shield up. So if anybody noticed that, don't do that. And bring the sell it down. Let's just expand. And play nice and safe. Pile on, pile on, pile on. And then warp in some more high tempo for sure. Get them off that one hotkey. And they're going to be storms. These are going to be archons. And then we can just warp in some zealots. Obviously combat all the other stuff. Alright, so now we've got this sorted. Let's go attack. And we're going to build cannons here, of course. So uh, what we can probably do is just bring an observer with our army. And because we're at 3-0, I don't expect to have much f him fighting back very much here. And we can even attack into the spines, to be honest, because we got zealots. So, And in come everything else, the storms. Storm our zealots because we're just a horrible guy. Yeah, look at that. Just so much damage. Warp in your blink stalkers now because we're not building archons. Oh, that's nasty, really, isn't it? And that's how to kind of play against me to start. Just defend, 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 and GG. Even though my engagements were a little bit sloppy there, I just kind of messed up my hotkeys there a little bit and didn't have sentries where I needed them. But overall, the solidness was definitely there. So that's it for part three, guys. Um, even with mistakes in that last game, you can see how kind of easy it is. If you know what to do is the key thing here for sure. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Part four will be coming soon. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Tell people about it. I'm here to help you guys. And as long as you support me, I'll continue to help as much as I can and get the the players, everybody from the lower leagues to a higher level, which in overall, in, in the grand scheme of things, in the grand scheme of things, that is the best thing for StarCraft 2 to increase the overall skill level from everybody. So I hope you enjoyed this proto tutorial. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are from. This has been D Apollo. Thank you very much.